must have a hundred main channels coursing through the flat countryside, and all of them swarm with the boats. The Mekong runs through Vietnam for a distance of more than 125 miles, with this basin area covering over 17,000 square miles. There are many different types of nets and hooks as well as small fishing pens. Every fisherman has his choice and his way of fishing. The flat even plain is home to rice, the primary food staple and the country's most vital cash crop. The fertile soil also supports an array of other fruits and vegetables. Everyone loved the opportunity to be a part of this dynamic view of the canals, the bridges, the boats, and most of all, the people. Hi. <laughs> These villagers seem genuinely pleased to visit with us, especially the beautiful children. A large part of their productivity is due to hard work, including irrigation by hand and, thankfully, help from the farmer's friend the water buffalo. In this area, many floating houseboats have fish pens. These are actually large holes in the floor of the building with nets spread out beneath. Used for generations by the Vietnamese, today with scientific techniques, the large aquaculture industry has begun. It is becoming a fish farming cooperative operation on a much larger scale with much of the product exported. Feeding time is quite an event for these fish, called basa fish, a whiskerless catfish. Uh. <laughs> this area of the Mekong Delta is well known for boat builders and dry dock repair, even though this craft might look to be beyond repair. Watch this lady operate her boat. These long-tailed outboards are always started in the air. There's no neutral or reverse and the prop spins mightily with a jerk of the starter cord. The long-tailed units have some serious advantages over inboard power, especially the ability to steer and to hoist the prop out of the water to clear whatever has fouled it in these shallow waters. The local brick factory is quite a resourceful enterprise. The operation is straightforward in a casual type of assembly line, whether stacking the completed fired bricks or loading and unloading supplies. Inspecting and trimming the wet clay for various size projects goes quickly, with many hands working together. With Vietnam the third largest exporter of rice, the source of fuel for the ovens is plentiful. The outside husks of the rice are placed in huge piles and carted up to the brick ovens as needed. A large basket must weigh somewhere close to 50 pounds. He makes it look easy. These ladies work hard, but they smile a lot and keep a steady chatter going. They readily help one another with the simplest chore. It all makes the day go faster and gets the job done.
The boat building trades are very well developed here, and the boats are built to a high standard of fit, if not finish. Almost all carry a bright red bow ornament with a pair of eyes to watch for traffic. The long-tailed outboard is by far the propulsion of choice. The motors are typically a five-horse generator model. The long propeller shaft and its pipe-sleeved bearing are superbly reliable. The pieces that turn the little air-cooled engine into a long-tailed outboard are locally made. You'll see all of this and more on an Ama Waterways river cruise.